I am pleased to have you return to my coin lady channel. We are positioned little above 53.5 cents. This move was as small as a dime, yet XRP still had another green day. A dramatic shift occurred in the storyline over X. The $10,000 XRP was once again in the news when Ripple co-founder Arthur Brito stated that $10,000 is the target price for XRP. I count at least 10 individuals on X today saying the same thing, but that's the beauty of crypto on a bad day, everyone acts as if XRP is a fraud. I always advise people to have zero emotion when you're a crypto investor, but if you sell all your XRP on a green day, we'll be back in a heartbeat and it will go to $10,000. Cash in on this opportunity. Chris Larson could end up endorsing Kamala Harris if the Ripple price drops to 45 cents. On Monday, though, it was announced, rather than over the weekend. Despite the unexpected deluge of articles covering the topic, the price of XRP remained relatively unchanged. That fell along with the market as a whole. Bitcoin was also discussed over the weekend. I can almost guarantee that some investors dumped their XRP when they heard this news. That is why I stress the need of emotionally distancing yourself. As a crypto investor, you should be aware that political events might affect the value of XRP. So why worry about it? Simply said, your goal is to earn a profit. Ripple has confirmed the news. In a study titled Trends in Regional Payments that Ripple produced very recently in 2024, the company examined several payment systems, with FedNow serving as a central focus. In the coming year, FedNow will be present everywhere. They claim in their own words that the networking impacts of FedNow adoption will start to show themselves within the following year. By everyone is on it, Ripple means that there will be networking effects. The consensus in the comments section in 2022 would have been, no one will ever use FedNow. If I had gone back in time and brought up Fed now immediately, nothing will come out of the Fed presently. Just hang tight. Yet, the year 2024 has arrived. And everything appears drastically altered. Who wants what? They are want immediate payment. With Fed now, you may get your money out of uphold immediately. There is a price associated with using Fed currently, but you could move the money in seconds. I believe the fees will go down as more people use it. However, from this point on, feed will be used. Speed, affordability, and safety are the three things that everyone desires. Remember when individuals used to spread false information and doubt about this? That was in 2023. Swift needed 3,500 transactions per second, which is highly implausible, and the XRP ledger can only manage 800. This is it, the con has been foiled. To the untrained eye, it may seem like something bad for XRP after reading it again. However, things are changing now that we are in the year 2024. Right now, ripples are a net. The original ILP was always the foundation of Ripple payments. It is David Schwartz who has provided this. The XRP ledger and the Ripple network are completely separate. With RippleNet, an enterprise payment solution, we can send and receive XRP and use the XRP ledger without any problems. This is our enterprise payment bridge. An early implementation of ILP forms the basis of RippleNet, a private network. So, what makes this matter so much? In the next video, I will describe the interledger protocol, which I neglected to do in earlier ones. So, in the beginning, there was proof of war, Bitcoin, proof of stake, Ethereum, and Casper. But Ripple is changing, and it's changing again, it's changing into the protocol for the inner ledger. Since Stellar is a Ripple fork, it will also perform this function, this is crucial for the future of our financial system. Together, XRP and the interledger system, ILP, can execute billions of transactions per second decent rally, according to Thomas, a key architect of the system. The combination of IOP and XRP allows it to scale to accommodate the needs of every single person on Earth. That being said, ISO is also relevant here. With XRP, any internet-based system may connect to the interledger protocol, ILP, which simplifies the process for banks to join the system. 
This is an explanation of the significance of TCP and IP and the usefulness of internet connections at the protocol level. In addition, the value protocol supplied by ISO 222 now equals TCP slash IP plus ISO. This explains why XRP and XLM will be well suited to the world of real-time payments and ISO 222 as we move into next year. However, I ought to have clarified this when we previously discussed the Interledger protocol. Along the way, though, this will also facilitate fresh payments, totaling billions upon billions of dollars. His point is that it will make international payments possible for everyone. However, his discussion about streaming payments was interesting to me. Another example is this. Going to work every day gives your boss the green light to pay you in streams. He ceased sending you money the moment you left the office, till the following day. The direction this is heading is also very appealing to me. You can see why the BIS has Ripple technology pegged as their future technological investment, this will help us understand the Internet of Value. I kind of brought it up before, but I simply kept moving forward without explaining it thoroughly enough. I hope this has clarified the Internet, the Interledger protocol, and how they all work together to make the Internet a valuable place. Additionally, as we are traveling through time, Come on, we need to check this out. If you're looking for a fantastic post, this is it. This is from December of 2017, it would be a wonderful visual to share with loved ones. When compared to Bitcoin, Ripple and XRP have increased in value by more than 1,500% this year, while the other one has increased by more than 13,100%, or almost $19,000. The alternative is addressing practical issues. Great. Team Hello, Joel. Using 75 cents, cats can reach high transaction rates. Right after that XRP flip Bitcoin, XRP reached its all-time high of $3.84. However, if you compare Alta Vista with Google, you'll notice that Google completely outpaced them over time. In my opinion, XRP and Bitcoin are both experiencing this identical trend. As soon as XRP is put to good use for its intended purposes, I believe it will be gone. According to CTO David Schwartz, the days of crypto hype are coming to an end. RL, a USD stablecoin, will launch only for institutions. Now, I know I know, a lot of people were talking about this, thinking it would be available to retail users as well. Like USDC and USDT, which are mostly available to institutions rather than individual. Consumers, Schwartz concurred, implying that retail investors will likely not be able to purchase RLUSD at least initially. You won't be able to purchase USDC from Circle or USDT from Tether directly, but you will eventually be able to purchase RLUSD on the exchanges because it is likely to follow the same concept. I believe this is heading in that direction, however, it will first be reserved for large-scale investors. This analysis of stable coins by black swan capitalists is excellent. Thus, the vital connection between XRP and any stable currency developed on the XRP ledger is being disregarded. Seeing my video is an honor. Thank you for watching my channel and for subscribing. I will see you later.